Yo, if you let me play Genji, I swear we will win. Or actually, could I play Anna, please? Hey, what's up, guys? Rank doesn't matter here, and today I'd like to talk about something that's been happening quite frequently to me recently, and that's giving up your hero to one of your teammates. The reason I want to talk about this is because my mindset has kind of changed a couple times throughout my ranked experience, and I'm also curious to find out what you guys think about this, if you care to discuss this at all. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I've seen people approach the subject in various forms already. You have the classic guy that everybody likes to complain on YouTube about who demands a hero, doesn't get it, and then proceeds to either throw himself off the map or go for a troll pick. You have the other guy who is desperate for a hero, almost begging you to give it up to them, so you kind of feel bad for him. There's also another guy, sometimes it's the same from before actually, who will watch your every misplay to use it against you and then say they are the better suited pick for this hero. The guy I'd like to focus on today is the type of person who approaches me quite normally, because that's actually the kind of person I came across the most. As always, your experiences may vary of course. So let's take me as a prime example right now. I main Anna, but I'm also fairly confident on any other support in the roster with the exception of Mercy, though sure I could play her if I was forced to at gunpoint. Generally speaking, support isn't a role that people start to fight over, it's more about the soldiers, the Genjis, the Roadhogs than anything else. But every so often I will come across a player who asks me if he can play Anna when I have already locked her. Thank you, Solid State Drive. I used to be very hesitant. Back in Season 2 when I played in Platinum, I would rarely ever drop Anna or Zenyatta because those were my strongest heroes and I saw the biggest chances for me to get out of Platinum by playing those, and as it turned out that was exactly the case. So my usual response was something along the lines of, sorry it's my strongest hero, and most people would be quite understanding of that. Recently I've been playing a lot with my friend who's in Masters, with my bouncy SL 3.3k to 3.4k SR and his 3.7ish, we usually hover around a team SR of 3.5k. The first few times I played in Masters SR I was actually quite intimidated. I thought alright, those guys have a high rank than me, if somebody asks for a hero I'll drop them. The reason I dropped Anna so willingly to a Masters player asking was because for one thing, again they had a higher rank than me, and for another, the first game I played as Anna in Masters SR was unlike anything I had ever come across in Diamond, let alone Platinum. I want to gather some more experience in this SR, but once that is done I will be making a video dedicated to my experiences, so stay tuned for that. But let me tell you this much, that match was stressful, very stressful in fact, and required me to change my playstyle quite significantly. It took me quite a bit of time and my friend telling me to get the heck back on Anna to realize how am I ever gonna be able to play Anna in Masters if I never practice this Anna in Masters. If playing this SR requires a different playstyle, then I have to practice and adapt. So I shied away from Lucio Instalogs and went back to my mains to get that experience and training that I need. But well, you guessed it, it happened again. People asked me if they can play Anna, and this is where I started to do things slightly differently. Before replying at all, I checked how many hours they had on her and which heroes they usually play. If they had a lot of playtime, even if that was less than mine, I would drop her disregarding the rank. What's important to me in those situations is just that we win the game. If somebody feels so strong in a hero that they go out of their way to ask me if they can play them and have the experience to back this request up, I have no problem dropping my main. And that's because I don't have to play my main for us to win. Sure, Anna might be my strongest pick, but I'm still extremely confident on any other support, so it isn't so much that I limit my own utility in this match, but I allow another teammate to play a hero that is optimal for them, which otherwise would have likely been something very suboptimal. A lot of people have this mindset of, as long as I am doing well, it's not my fault when we lose, and I too share this to an extent. However, sometimes us playing the best we can isn't enough enough to win the game and that's because of which is a way to rely on the entire team working as a whole. To put some arbitrary numbers into this, if we were to assume that me playing Anna grants me 100% of my possible potential throughout the match, but at the same time the other support has to play a hero that only grants them let's say 60%, then that's a lot of potential wasted for this teammate who otherwise could have been of greater help. So now here's me choosing an off pick which grants me 80 to 90% utility and my teammate gets to pick the hero that allows him to play at their full potential or very close to it. In the end we have risen our utility as an entire team at the minimal cost of my personal performance. The only situation where I still refuse to swap is when we already have two supports and one of the other roles asks if they can have my pick because I sure as hell can't play DPS or tank anywhere near Masters level. But so far everyone has been understanding and I've never run into problems regarding this issue so I guess I'm kind of lucky. This is where you guys can also join in on the discussion if you like. Which heroes do you usually play and do you drop them for your team if they ask? What's your reasoning behind it? At any rate this is me done for the day with a short little discussion on dropping heroes for your team in Overwatch. As always, don't forget to drop me a like on your way up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you guys next time. Alright, you mess him up. Oh, fuck's sake. I should have kept it for the Genji. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. The team did things. I'm happy.